Okay, we're gonna change this valve and go from this to this. Check it out. We have a Pentair backwash valve that's become a problem. The spider gasket inside continues to shrivel up. Homeowners decided to get rid of it, so we're gonna cut this one out and install the new one. So before we get started, we'll make sure we have everything. We've got our new valve, got our saw, lots of pipe fittings, some extra pipe, and um, we'll get started. So what I like to do first is plan the route, where we're gonna go with it. We know it'll plug in here and the new ports will come out of the side. So we're gonna have them coming out here. The bottom one will go to the pump. That's real easy. We'll just go straight out and straight up and connect to this pipe. The other one's gonna be coming out somewhere. If we're lucky, it'll go under this pipe. If we're not lucky, then we're gonna have to reroute this and reroute that. But hopefully we get lucky, it's a straight shot. We can go right into there. But that's the game plan, so we'll get the camera set up and get started. Thing is cut the old valve out. Get to get a new saw for Christmas. Really like this. This one off here. Make sure you don't cut anything else. Use our trusty pliers. Just trying to keep that from going all up inside the motors while this tank empties. Okay. That's almost. Fortunate, they're gonna be standing in a pile of water. It's actually gonna be a pretty good setup. I'm liking it. To do that one, we know that's gonna be the hardest one, so we'll do it first. It's gonna go from there to there, which looks like 22. Uh, all right, Lord, let this fit. <laughs> Unless you don't get much better than that. That's perfect, I'm liking it. Okay, we'll glue that and then we'll tilt this over. We'll get the right on that, cut this off, make that connection. And then we'll come back and make this one next. Hold it for a second, otherwise sometimes it'll pop back out. We don't want that to happen. Just gonna loosen that. We'll get all the water out of there. See the water in the pipe. We need the height here. Right there. Not the prettiest cut, but that right there looks good. Okay. We'll cut that off. that one these do not like to be in a bind at all so make sure that this one's gonna be a little tricky i'm glad we're doing it first you want to be careful not to knock that o-ring out because they tend to swell up be a little hard to get back in, especially when you got zero clearance here like we do. Okay, we'll get everything prepped, glued. Put that on right there. Bring that around. Guys, I'm telling you, that couldn't have gone any better. And I really like using this gray glue that we've got here. It doesn't set up quite as fast as blue glue or even the clear glue. Um, that extra one or two seconds of work time is just priceless. 
what we're going to do is come out of here 90 up catch this one so that's going to put us at looks like about 11 and a quarter so we'll put this one on first we'll go here line that up this one is movable so we can it's a lot easier to connect match cut that off right there glue that on and we'll do the back whoa crap I don't like that guys if you see what i did right there i gouged that pipe all up so that when that fitting goes on it's not going to work so i'm going to cut this back off right here we'll rebuild this section goof up okay guys so as you can see, I messed that up, cutting that pipe. So we're gonna remove the one I just installed. Now again, with this gray glue, it's nice because its strength is in this way and not, not the other way. So I can easily remove this. I'm going by hand because I don't want to go too deep and uh, dig down into the other pipe. And you can see maybe got just a little bit of purple showing there. That tells me I'm down to the primer. Pop that baby off. Just like that. Okay, so now we'll go back and install it correctly. Make these last two glue joints. Clean that up, get any excess glue off of it. So we can make a good connection. Other two ends while I'm at it. Easier to do it now. Can we stick them together? Feel something gummy on that one. Okay. Do this again. All right, then we'll, this is on a swivel, so we'll loosen it, cram it right into place. And you always plan your last connection, how that last connection is going to go together. Because you don't want to be in a position like where, it, like here is your last one, be a little more difficult because things don't move as much. Or, yeah, we don't want to make that our last connection because see, you have absolutely no room to work the fittings. So, um, plan ahead so that you don't leave yourself in a really bad spot for your last connection. This one works good because this is completely movable. We'll set that on and drive it right in place. So just keep that in mind as you're working. Bring that one in. Just like that. We got our pipes. Everything's running straight. Actually, I think it cleaned up a lot better from where it was with that big valve initially. So... I like it. Now we're gonna run the back wash out uh, the back. So, all right, now let's get us to 45. We'll squish the end and be ready to go. There we go. 
close. Hey, if this video helped you out uh, and you'd like to hit that super thanks button leave us a little something if you feel led to do that you do not have to we do these because we love it and we love you guys love helping people but as you can see it takes a lot of time and expense to create these videos and you got to look goofy like this we're in this goofy thing on your head so man if you want to hit that super thanks because literally youtube pays me one penny per view so um yeah it's just not much <laughs> anyway we finally did get our first check from uh youtube after about three years uh, i don't know how many videos we got up but uh we finally got it and i'll share that with you in an upcoming video but hey guys thanks again for watching and we do appreciate you god bless all right guys that's a wrap we're off to the next one